So thanks again, uh, Edina, for inviting uh, myself uh, in your show. So I just want to mention, it's not only the paint companies, but you can look at any other consumer name in the country. Everything is going crazy, right? The consumption pattern has changed. People are consuming. Uh, you're seeing numbers across consumer companies coming very strong. It was just about the margins how they're going to play out. So yes, for paints, it's a direct uh, beneficiary with the way crude has fallen, with the way TIO2 is coming off globally. So that helps the paint companies and that's where you're seeing the reaction. Honestly, I certainly uh, conquer with the view which you have spoken about, about Glassium being a very serious threat to the paint companies over here. So one could see this as a tactical run which is happening in the paint companies, but I would I would think uh, that one should look for an exit in the paint companies from Europe. There are much better names apart from cement and paint, paint space to be in because they both have serious competition coming in. In cement also, we know that Adani is coming in, right? So you, you have to be wary of the spaces and they have had a dream run. I think there's a very good time to go light on these two spaces. Okay, that's a flavor of where the upgrades and the downgrades have come in. Varun, to your mind, uh, post the earning season or so far in the earning season, where is it that you're getting conviction as to where you foresee growth or even value for that matter? So as I mentioned to you, it is around the consumption names that you're seeing the big uh, jump in revenues coming. So you are seeing most uh, consumption companies, be it staples, be it discretionary, be it uh, to an extent durables, all have seen... Uh, revenue is coming stronger. Obviously, uh, durables have seen pressure on the margin front, but clearly uh, revenue performance of most companies have been very strong, especially on the consumption side. Uh, uh, I think that there's a clear uh, uh, clear trade over here to buy still domestic consumption themes. India is clearly being decoupled versus the globe, which we're seeing how things are playing out. And uh, just before uh, we start speaking, you're mentioning about India being a standout, and this is, a, but this is probably the reason why we are seeing Indian markets doing so well. Approach uh, Zomato Varun, because it's a business which has got a serious moat around it. Now they are talking on the lines of profit and capital allocation. Do you think Zomato is a clear buy for the next two, three years? I think so. I mean, uh, although we don't uh, cover it actively, but uh, I would uh, think so. If the focus of these new age companies comes into profitability, that would make a big difference, which has been the miss in these companies. The unfortunate bit has been that it's always that people have been chasing them for high growth. And that's where the struggle has been. Because eventually high growth doesn't lead to profitability, which we have been seeing. But if the focus changes to that, that could make a big difference. Uh, Varun, uh, how would you view Bharti in the light of 5G auctions? Jio has always had paid the top dollar. The fact that they've gone aggressive, their bids are much higher than Bharti. Could we be staring at another price war? And that's bad news. That's very bad news for Bharti now. I agree with you on this. So, uh, just before this call, I was having a discussion with someone on the same. And the kind of uh, seriousness which Reliance is showing, the kind of uh, allocation they have uh, put in out here, they will take their share, uh, which they have proven in the past also. So I would be a little concerned on the price for remaining and uh, the way forward. And honestly, uh, the fiberization which Reliance has is way superior, uh, I think, in my view, versus what others have. And uh, they have been in the fiber space uh, with much more strength than what others have been, because others have a mix of fiber and uh, uh, more on the radio side. But I think Reliance uh, would give a big competition to others. And I, I would say that the best way to play forward in the telecom space is Reliance rather than the other way. So HDFC Bank, the opening turned out to be the top point for the day, which means that HDFC Bank today has not participated at all. And Varun, just before we hit the bell, I wonder why. Uh, a lot of concerns for HDFC Bank are getting addressed, but the market is just not rewarding it. Varun, the question was for you. Sorry, I can't hear you. Is, it, is the question towards me? Yeah, no, I'm just saying that concerns which were bothering the HDFC bank stock post the merger, they're getting addressed. FIs right. are back, but the right. stock is not going back to its glory days. Right. So, honestly, you know, HDFC bank should be one of the most preferred names in the banking space from here on. 
we have seen some serious correction in the name. It's a great pedigree, great platform. Uh, just that market doesn't like any kind of uncertainty. There's a little bit of an uncertainty how the merger would play out, how things would be post the merger, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But one thing is clear. I mean, uh, these are two great platforms coming together. There are a lot of synergies that there will be there. Um, I think HDFC Bank at this price is a great buy. FIS coming back is an added advantage. I agree with you. It's not reflecting yet, but going forward it should. I think. A little bit of more uh, uh, clarity once uh, we see emerging will help the stocks going forward.